Gary, you're not carrying an M and P. Ah! Hey guys, Gary here. Thanks for checking in. Not going off the deep end here. Have not given up on Smith and Wesson or my M and P's. However, there is a new gun. Uh, it's not really new on the market. It's been out for months. Uh, that has caught my eye and I like it a bunch. I like it a bunch that it's now in the conversation, even if it's not going to replace uh, my MMPs as my daily carry. And that is the SIG 365. Uh, I borrowed one from uh, one of my Kydex guys and I shot the shit out of it, uh, about 1200 rounds through it while I had it. And I really liked it. Did it have some downsides? Of course it did. And I worked on rectifying those to see if that could be a gun that I would want to carry with me all the time. And one of the uh, issues I found with it was it came with the, it was regular 365, not the XL version. 10 round magazine, like you didn't get a pinky on it. And I get it, like for an ankle gun or something that you're going for concealment. It was 10 rounds where everything else in that category was like six or seven in that size, uh, you know, comparable size. So it was a bunch of extra bullets, which I thought was fucking magical. He had some 12 round magazines he lent me. The 12 round magazines have a, an extension on them, kind of like the eight round shield magazines do, if you if you can picture that. Uh, and now it fit my hand great and it had 12 fucking rounds in it. I was like, I can't believe it. Like it's magic. There are elves in there with wands and stuff and wizards and unicorns and whatever else is magical out there. But the issue came with, uh, if you're going to reload the gun, you gotta, had to make sure you took like all the fingers off to get that magazine in there because the about the middle of your hand is where the seam between the magazine extended base plate and the grip was. Then to come out with the 365, it only takes the 12 round magazine uh, because the grip's longer. So I try one of those out and I was like, ooh, this is the grip. This grip right here is the grip. And, uh, Grip be like, you don't have to do anything to. There's no carving on it and reshaping it. Like it just, like they maximized it right out of the box. And I thought, man, that's awesome. It has a little longer barrel and slide. It was fine. And then I came to the downside. I don't want the gun to have an optic on it. I bought this gun because it's tiny. I want to keep it tiny, not bolting an optic on the top. I want it tiny. I want to put it in a smart carry. And so it means I want to keep the irons and I want big dots, or even if I want other dots or not dots, I sure as hell don't want the factory SIG sights, which I thought are horrible. XL, the plate that cover that the takeoff to put the red dot on has the irons built into it. All of the uh, sight manufacturers that I've talked to have no intention of making a giant plate with an iron sight on the back. So there's not gonna be any aftermarket support for SIG rear XL, 365 XL rear sights. No go for me. SIG started selling the grip frame separate. You know what worked out wonderful? You can take the, by the grip frame, it's not serialized. That's the frame inside that's serialized, the chassis, so to speak, and bolt it right on. Took me three minutes tops to swap the grip modules out. Meant I also didn't have the stupid flat trigger from the XL model, and I got to keep the slide that I'd already put big dots on. So this is the gun right here. I don't know why SIG's not selling this gun, I have a hunch at some point they will be. Uh, since the 365 and the 365XL have, you can interchange shit from them. Uh, people have been making hybrids between the two and my preferred one is this, the XL grip frame with the 365 slide. So there are 12 rounds in this. The thing fits my hand perfect. It is so tiny, uh, I don't, I don't, I normally undercut trigger guards on everything. There's nothing here to undercut. Uh, the XL grip frame has a little bit of a beaver tail, which I prefer. Uh, it's just an awesome gun. I have uh, XS DXT2s on there. I know it probably won't focus. I'll throw up a picture. Um, the curved trigger from the stock gun and the, the stock slide, and then the XL version of the grip. We won't take the 10 rounders anymore. Gave those away to a buddy, but it will take the 12 rounders, which I keep loaded up with some Defiant Munitions TCX. It's got a little bit of a beveled, like, magwell uh, 
it's pretty awesome. They make 15 round magazines that will go in the XL frame or the regular frame as well. But so this one will take the 12 or the 15, whereas the old frame will take the 10, 12 or 15. I think this is an improvement. Uh, this is the gun that, that like changed my opinion of SIG. Uh, they went from they make a fine gun to they make one I want to spend money on. And this little guy is it. And if you are looking for a gun in this size, like comparable to a shield in size, it's got a lot more bullets in it and it feels way nicer to shoot. So with the, as prolific as it's becoming, holsters and aftermarket, things like that, mag pouches, whatnot, not an issue. Uh, you should get in on it and snag yourself one up for that small size handgun. Uh, I'm gonna carry this one a bunch this year and put it through its paces. Uh, the end of last year, I had 10, my 10th 365 make it through a two day 1000 round class. So it has made the approved list and it's so awesome. It made my recommended list. Uh, but I like it so much it had to get its own video. And this is the video and you just watched it. Take it easy. Not that you should care, <clears throat> but I borrowed this trigger pull gauge from my buddy for a different video. And I thought, oh, I should see what it is on the SIG. So I tried this gun and this trigger pull gauge. And after a couple of uh, trigger pulls and averaging them, it came out to six pounds, 10 ounces. Again, who fucking cares? But that's what the number.